So this is what the question says. It says an electromagnet produces some magnetic field of given magnitude. So this, I think, represents the magnetic field, and that's our B that's given throughout a yeah, cylindrical region of the diameter. Okay, we are being told what the distance from one end to the other end of the cylinder is. Uh, let me call that D. So diameter D. Uh, in a unit, a straight wire carrying a current of um, 25 ampere I uh, passes through the field as shown in the figure below. Um, what is the magnetic force on the wire, magnitude and direction? Oh, so um, so we've been using this expression for magnetic force on a moving charge. So magnetic force on a moving charge is the amount of charge times V cross B. And this is great if you have each charge is individual and um, you can kind of see the path of the particles, then this works great. Now, that's not really a most common setup that you will have, except in cases when you are doing some sort of particle physics-like thing where you're dealing with the individual particles. The more common practical setup for magnetism and magnetic force is that you will have current carrying wire. So your textbook does derivation. I'm just going to write down the formula because I happen to remember the formula. The formula that can be derived from this um, Lorentz force expression, um, applying the, 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 our model of conduction with the drift velocity and all that, when you go through all that, the formula that you will have derived for magnetic force on current carrying wire is, so where you used to have Q before, or whether Q times V, you have current. And I'm going to do this in a way where the current is a, it's a scalar. It just, uh, it indicates the magnitude. And for the, the remainder of the quantity, the length in V and the whole the vector thing, we'll say L as a vector. And L as a vector is defined in the natural way. It points in the direction, uh, this would be your L hat. <laughs> it points in the direction of current. And uh, th this is a vector with magnitude. The magnitude of L would be the length of the wire um, cross the magnetic field. So this is the expression for the magnetic force on a current carrying wire. And, and that's what we are going to use here. The one thing to be careful is, even though the wire is longer than this diameter D, really the only portion of the wire that's feeling the magnetic force will be the portion of the wire that's inside the magnetic field. So we are going to use this length, uh, D, as our... Uh, length of the wire that applies to this formula. So I, I think I have all the information I need. I have current, 25 ampere. I have length, 12 centimeters. I will uh, plug it in, in a unit of meter, 0 0.12 meter, so that the units just magically work out. And I have the magnetic field already in basic SI units. So the magnitude will be simply product of those three things. Um, let me do that on calculator. So product of those three things is uh, current, 25 ampere, which is a huge amount of current, by the way, times the length of the wire, 0 0.12 meter, times, oh, uh, and for the cross product, I'm kind of ignoring the cross product because I can see that here the direction of current and direction of magnetic field are perpendicular. So for the purpose of magnitude, it'll just be L times B, uh, sine theta is one. Um, so the magnetic field is three Tesla. And I plugged in all the numbers in basic SI units. So when I work this out, the answer I get out to be in Newtons. Uh, so I'm just gonna trust that and say, this is equal to, what's that nine? Yeah nine newtons so that's it uh, that's the answer nine newtons oh and i need to figure out the direction of magnetic force so i do l cross b um, and i is uh, um, whenever we define this i is going to be positive so l points to the left oh, sorry points to right and um, b points down so so l cross b 
Okay, my thumb is pointing into the screen from your perspective, and that's the correct perspective, or it'll give the correct answer. So magnetic force points um, into page or into the screen. So that's it. Let me plug those answers in and verify that I've done it correctly. Nine newtons into the page. So that's it. That's uh, I think the last of the questions.